everybody, Sean Tubbs here. Welcome to my studio. I've had a lot of requests over the months to uh, do a rundown of my bigger pedal board. And I'm going to try and do that for you. There's a lot to get through. This board is quite a bit different than the smaller board you saw me uh, run down. This one I have dialed more for sessions. I've got it dialed a little more barky. Um, it's, it's, I don't have it dialed as big because it, this is the board that I use for either sessions. A lot of times uh, this one was on the Blown Away tour with Carrie Underwood. So it's, it's dialed differently. It's just a completely different beast. But, uh, but yeah, I will oblige and, uh, and run you guys through this thing. I'm going to use uh, my uh, Paris Dave Grissom guitar and my divided by 13 FTR 37. So let's just uh, really quick just go through uh, the signal path. So I wired this board uh, quite a while ago. As you can see, it's got really big cable on there. It's uh, Mogami 2524 cable. Normally I wouldn't use cable that big, but I was in a hurry to get that thing done when I ordered the wrong gauge and thought, man, I, I can't do it in, in channels and have it look all cool. I'm just gonna kind of do the swoopy thing. And I, you know, truth be told, I'm really used to 2524 cable. I know how it sounds. So I just kind of left it on, uh, left it alone. I, I used uh, switchcraft ends and soldered it all up myself. So uh, back to the signal chain. So it comes into the side of the board. Uh, that's the input. Straight from the input, uh, underneath the board, it comes to the uh, JHS orange squeeze uh, comp, and then out of the orange squeeze comp into the JHV3 looper, and then we go out of the looper into the M9, and then out of the M9 into the big sky, and then back out of the board. Everything else is self-contained within the, uh, the looper. So the loops are as follows. Uh, loop one, is the Archer. Loop two is the uh, JHS um, Morning Glory, and that's a, that's an older one. Um, I think they do a different version of it now, but, but still totally dig it. Loop three is the JHV3 Ghost Drive, really cool uh, overdrive that I've had for a long time. And then loop four is the XTS Winford Drive, which is another really great pedal that you guys have seen me demo that one, as well as the Archer. Now, before we get to loops uh, five and six, you can see here, right where I'm pointing, that's an insert that I had put between uh, loops four and five for the volume pedal. So that's where the Dunlop volume pedal comes in, but that's also where the boost comes in because I've been using that, uh, obviously, for what it is. Technically, it, it kind of puts it in the wrong spot, but... Uh, it, it still works pretty well because what it's done is, is because I'm using the boost, also the insert in the boost for my volume, it puts the boost after the overdrives. So instead of hitting the inputs of the overdrives, it's kind of boosting the volume on the, of the overdrives on the, on the other side. And it ended up working pretty well. I think eventually I'm going to figure out a way to have that guy be at the front, but, but it's been working well. And the reason I did that as well is because if my volume pedal ever went down, and it has, especially in a show, I can literally just pop those two out and it'll normally straight through so I, I haven't lost signal um, I can keep playing okay so uh, we know uh, loops one through four loop five is the little uh, mini uh, the Deja vibe full tone custom shop I've had that for I don't know how many years a really long time I don't, I don't think he makes them anymore and then loop six is the boss uh, TR2 tremolo which is uh, modified by Keeley uh, sounds great uh, what I miss what I miss <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, and the tuner is a Peterson uh, Strobel Stomp, a really great tuner. Um, okay, so let's just, uh, yeah, let's just kind of pump through these pedals real quick. So that's just the D13, and of course the Archer is in loop one. Kind of, that's what I like about these is they're kind of barky and just kind of angry sounding. And that's pretty much how I keep it dialed. I'll, I'll either just do kind of crunch rhythm passes with it. And every once in a while I'll do a solo thing. 
but for the most part, I, I use it for kind of crunch, crunch stuff. Uh, next guy in line is the uh, Morning Glory JHS. I have that dialed for neck position kind of blues, so uh, not super gainy, um, just uh, just enough. <laughs> Um, it's, it seems kind of redundant to have two low gain pedals right next to each other, but that's the reason. I, I like one dialed for basically bridge position and the other one more dialed for neck position tones. It's okay bridge pickup wise, but it's not really dialed for that. I'd, I'd kind of have to find a happy medium, and when I want to just keep moving, especially on a session, I'd rather have one box dedicated for back position and the other box uh, dedicated for neck. So. And then I, this is the one that I'll leave on, like if a producer's wanting something with some hair on it, I can do like a, a you know, delay kind of, well, let's see. for that for sure sometimes I you know like that was maybe a little too much drive but you get the idea um, the next box is the ghost drive this guy it's um really cool uh, just overdrive kind of distortion pedal um, two channel I, don't know, I shouldn't call it a two channel it's got a boost and an overdrive um, right now I've got both of them on uh, the overdrive with the boost <laughs> the boost off just so you can kind of check out what I do with it that guy's on the board uh, for either taking a solo or if I want a crunch rhythm sound that isn't as barky like the archer uh, it doesn't have so much that clon thing um, it's a little more neutral but still has character um, that's a great box it's been really really good uh, over the years I've had it for Quite a while. So there's that guy, and then of course uh, the last guy is the uh, the Winford, and that I use strictly for solos. <laughs> I, I go between that guy and uh, and the dude pedal, the uh, the rocket pedal, this guy. I'll go back and forth between them depending on what's going on. The last session I did, the Winford was a little bit better uh, fit. Just it sat in the track better. It's it's that's what this board is. It's not so much strictly devoted to kind of what I love, like my my smaller board. It's more man, things have to fit quick. Um, and that's where the boost can come into uh, to play. Like sometimes uh, I'll just want like maybe a little more hair on the Winford. And that pretty much works on all the all the boxes. And like I said, it's in a weird spot. It's it's on the back side, but it's still. It still works pretty well, and like I said, I'll probably switch that out uh, to be more towards the front of the board. Uh, oh, and of course the compressor. That one uh, is based on the Ross Comp, I believe. That's why it's called the Orange Squeeze. I don't use a lot of compression, as, as many of you guys know, but it, it works pretty well for what I use compression for. <laughs> So that's with it. Here's without it. With it. And 
it's dialed, that's actually dialed a little more compressed than I would have it be. But anyways, that's kind of what I use it for. Um, works great to just kind of smooth things out. Uh, it's great for solos. Sometimes if I want to smooth those out, it works really well. Uh, it has a, you can see a little switch there at the top of it. It's got a, uh, a buffer that I can turn on and off that the guys from JHS were kind enough to uh, put in there for me. Uh, so that's the uh, the orange squeeze. Uh, let's look at really quick on the uh, M9. I'm just going to go through it quickly. Um, it's going to seem a little weird the way I have it. It's got four delays set up in one of the scenes, but it's just so I can move quickly. Um, so the first delay is the one you've been hearing. The second delay that I use, uh, that's a tape delay. The second delay that I use is, is similar. It's actually a digital delay dialed a little bit darker and a little louder. That's what I'll use for like ballady stuff and you know legato stuff. The third delay that I use is a uh, it's an analog with mod delay. And as you can hear, it's faster because I have it dialed to quarter uh, eighth uh, dot a quarter eighth uh, pattern. Um, and the only reason I did that is so if I want to have two delays on at once, doesn't matter what I tapped in. I'll have a dotted quarter uh, eight thing going. Um, so it's just once again, it's it's just so I can move quickly. Uh, if there's some more ambience needed, I don't, I'm not reaching down there and tweaking stuff. I can just kind of stay efficient, keep moving. Um, the fourth delay is just a reverse one. for ambience. Um, I'll just turn it on out of nowhere sometimes on a session and uh, and it works great uh, even with another delay. Um, and then the other two guys are kind of modulation. I have a chorus on there, the tri-chorus. And then below that is kind of a pattern kind of stutter tremolo thing. Um, which you guys have probably heard uh, at the top of my videos, the bumper, that's what that is. It's just a stutter trim. But I'll use it for uh, uh, ambient stuff. Basically, whenever the producer says, hey, can you make it sound like there's a satellite flying over? Okay. Um, but no, it's a fun, it's a fun effect that I'll turn on out of nowhere. Uh, the next one is the Big Sky, and I don't, I don't use reverb a ton, um, and that's why I haven't programmed that thing that much. Uh, it, um, it's killer, um, but the reason I use it really is because I was doing so much in-ear stuff, especially on stage with Carrie during the Blown Away st uh, tour, I was kind of using it just to give me some ambience, not put a ton of reverb on it so that it affected front of house, but it gives me kind of an ambient thing. So, uh, so it's just kind of a dark hall that's not real long. And it was really so I could just have a bit of ambience without really distracting anybody else, uh, front of house or monitor wise. So that's how I have that set up. I have one kind of ambient thing that I'll use, but once again, only in a session. So it's kind of a, a you know, and that sounds crazy, but if, you know, Within context, it works pretty well.
So there you go. That's kind of a quick uh, rundown of this board and what I use it for. It's, it's always being dialed differently and, and that's why I never have like a set thing that I do with it um, just because it's always getting tweaked. I'm probably going to cut Barry at uh, XTS loose on it, have him do his magic and, uh, and rewire it. But it's, it's going to stay pretty much. A lot of these guys are going to stay on there. JHS is going to stay. The Orange Squeeze will stay. The Archer will stay. You know, it's pretty much going to be the same board. I'm just going to rewire it and, and rework it because it's, it's, it's been through the ringer. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, um, as always. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.